me and Mum are in Tokyo. Look what I've just found. What is it? One day pants. One day? Pants that you can wear for one day. That says to me, Tokyo is so extreme, you will shit yourself. <laughs> oh, yes. We're going to put that theory to the test. We signed up for an alternative tour of Tokyo to see a side of this magnificent and crazy metropolis the few have seen before. We're talking sex. <laughs> violence. You any good in a fight? And scouting. Back yourself. Only joking, that's a Kit Kat. But we're going deep underground in Tokyo, taking a walk on its wildest side. And by God, I've seen some wild shit in my time. I've seen a woman do something terrible to a marshmallow. What? Um, don't make me go any further. I've seen a dog dressed as Elvis. And I uh, saw a man make love to a pasty. Ugh. When did you see that? At a party. What kind of pasty was it? I, I mean... didn't stop to ask, did I? Well, oh, excuse me. Um, is that chicken and mushroom or is it a steak slice? <laughs> Ham and cheese. Classy. <laughs> I left. Did he make a little hole in it? I don't know. He was just banging a pasty. <laughs> and as, as Nanny, God rest her soul, said, when a man starts fucking a pasty, it's time to leave the party. <laughs> <laughs> she always said that. <laughs> she was so wise. We've arrived in Akihabara, the bustling electronics and anime district, to meet the guy in charge of our alternative tour of Tokyo. Hello, Donald, nice to meet you. I'm friend. Donald, yeah, you must be Russell. I am Hello. Russell. Nice to meet you. My mom. Hi. Hi. You must be Nick. Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, well, I'm actually not Japanese if you didn't. No? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I've been, I'm actually from Atlanta. Oh, really? Georgia. Yeah, and nice. I've been living here for, been in Tokyo for like 10 years now. Wow. Donald's an expat who runs a YouTube channel exploring Japanese culture. <laughs> Kabuki Cho is really different at night. Oh, that is pretty pimp. He's going to show us some of the most bizarre things on offer in Tokyo. Arigatou gozaimasu. Right. See you. <laughs> Donald's kicking us off with a visit to a maid cafe, a type of restaurant popular in this area where the waitresses dress as French maids. It feels a bit creepy. Yeah, it's gonna, <laughs> yeah, be, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a little creepy, yeah. but it'll be it'll be fun. I think fun we'll creepy. Fun. Everyone's favourite kind of creepy. <laughs> oh, I take it back. It's just creepy. Hello. 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 The first maid cafe opened in 2001, and now there are more than 200 of them in Japan. The idea is the maids are magical, never grow old, and everything here from the food to the entertainment is about being adorable and cute. If you think this kind of thing is cute. How, how old are you? Uh, <laughs> we are forever 17. Oh, forever 17. Oh, nice, nice. Because they're able to serve us forever, it makes them very happy. But you can't drink. But you can't. <laughs> no, no, no. You can't drive. No. You can't. no. <laughs> to be honest, I shouldn't be doing that gesture in a place like this. <laughs> Customers, shockingly male, can queue for up to two hours for a table. Two hours. Time to order from the menu and see what all this waiting is for. This is popular among the ladies because when you eat this, this is like the, the magical food that's going to keep you 17 forever. Oh, the one that makes me 17? Uh, 17? 17. Okay. <laughs> Every single male in there, I bet you money, one of them has got an old pair of used underwear from the maid that he's <laughs> sniffing on an hourly basis. Like the most wretched cuckoo clock ever, just... <laughs> it's one o'clock. <laughs> Mm. It's two o'clock. Mm. It's three. <laughs> this whole place is nuts. Look what we have to do with our drinks. This is the magical chant to infuse them with love and make them taste better. Wow, wow. It's a lot like weather spoons. I've ordered the special cocktail, which means the maids choose the colour and flavour of my drink. The colour, blue. Oh, hey. The flavour, 
awful. Okay. Good. Yeah. 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 Little more man. How many Smurfs did you kill? <laughs> you are this yeah. Make a heart mark. Okay, make a heart. Make heart. This heart mark will. Food's up. So this is going to make Mum 17 forever. Mum's opted for the fruit cocktail mini parfait, which, after another quick spell, should knock 40 years off her. Absolutely not. Not even if I go, wow, wow. I've, I've seen something terrible done with these. Oh, God. Marshmallows. 2008. Stag do. Sharon the stripper. No, no. She pulled out a big bag of sweets. Thought, oh, excellent, we're all going to get a snack. She started, it's like she was smuggling. They were just going in all sorts of areas. She genuinely put a, a flump in her ass and then try to feed it to my mate. I damn near nearly backhanded it. <laughs> Bring back Sharon, all's forgiven. If you drink their potions, it's going to make you look younger. After what I've seen, I've aged 10 years. <laughs> Within minutes, my bush was silver. <laughs> it was. My cock and balls look like Leslie Nielsen. I should have ordered what that guy's having. He's absolutely loving it. The magic didn't work. That felt like a honey trap. Really sickening. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> it was just horrible. But one of them was all right, and therein lies the problem. Made cafes, the newest entry on the list of things that freak me out. I also don't really get strangle wanking while we're here. Strangle wanking? It's where you sort of, it's autoerotic asphy asphyxiation, but to uh, give it its street name, strangle wanking, I don't understand it. No. One or the other. But well, why we got to have two? Why's it got to be peanut butter and jam? <laughs> Just enjoy two sandwiches. <laughs> give yourself a little choke and then give yourself a little stroke. Also on that list, furries. It's where people dress up as animals and they make love. That's it, an odd thing. It is an odd thing. What is wrong with us as human beings? Animals don't do it. Don't do two, see two squirrels in a park going, let's dress up like a couple from Swindon. <laughs> you could be retail, I'll be Alan. I work in, in admin and you work in retail. <laughs> let's make disappointing love and then watch Westworld. Oh. <laughs> After all this weirdness, we need to lie down. And Donald, Donald might have just the place for us. What's next? So next, we're going to go to a capsule hotel. OK. So these are hotels that are kind of meant to save a little bit of space. It's, they're affordable, like easy places to just kind of jump in and jump out. So do you want to have a look? Let's have a look. I think Sounds it might good. be perfectly sized for you. <laughs> do you think? Yeah, I reckon so. What is that? Capsule or pod hotels have been going in Japan for almost 40 years. They feature rows of tiny rooms with little more than a bed in them. Look at this. Look at that. That is not what I expected. No, nor me. They started as an alternative for Japanese businessmen who'd got too pissed to get the train home. Talking of which... I can't even get on the bed, let alone in the bed. Oh, I am... <laughs> <laughs> There's an app that controls everything, apparently. There's an app. Fantastic. Anything? I hear it. Oh, oh there you go. There I go. <laughs> Well, this is nice. <laughs> well, how low am I going? I don't really need to lie down, do I? I don't want to go to sleep yet. Well, yeah, but it doesn't mean just because it goes horizontally you have to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't how it works? <laughs> <laughs> On average, they cost about 25 quid a night. So we could have probably stretched the two rather than sharing. Thanks, Donald. So you just go to sleep like that. It's all right, isn't it? Yes, yeah, big bed. 
Yeah, but if you were making a noise, they would hear you, wouldn't they? I don't think you make a noise. I think the thing is, you just have a night. Well, if someone had a cough, you could hear them coughing all night, wouldn't you? If you just go like that. <laughs> Stop coughing. Stop coughing, mate. I'm trying to sleep in here with my mum. <laughs> Jesus, some people are weird. Time to have a bit of fun with mum. Don't shut the door properly. I wouldn't do that, mum. How do you open it? What? Open it? The button won't work. What do you mean the button won't work? Open it up now. I can't. What well, might... Well... It, says, it says emergency. Get the blade. Donald. Get the... I don't know how to work it, man. Oh, know. God. Um, I guess we're going to have to go down to the front desk. Well, how long are you going to be gone? Well, I don't speak Japanese. Give me five minutes. No, cos don't go. That's all. God. Let me out now. Why am I always the one that's left? 